सो हाई डियर एरीज अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द एरीज सन मून मीन राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस सेकेंड थिंग द रूल्स कैन बी रिवर्स ऑल्सो थर्ड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम नाइनटीन टू द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड इट्स वेलिड फॉर एवरी ट्वेल्व साइन दैट यू आर डीलिंग विद अलॉन्ग विद योर ओन साइन सो लेट स्टार्ट योर पर्सन और योर पार्टनर्स कर फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नो एट दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट एरीज लेट सी we have the magician someone is trying to manifest something here okay manifestation is going on with all of uh, their like heart and soul they they are like uh, they are feeling like creating something here let's uh, let's clarify this card before making any kind of uh, stories let's clarify the magician as their feelings for you we have the 7 of cups the 5 of wands and the 8 of swords oh my god it's like emotional pain and uh, mental pain and at the same time physically also their body is hurting because things are not going the way they want it to go someone is trying to manifest peace in the situation i do see lots of chaos i do see lots of drama lots of conflict lots of overthinking this is someone who is feeling trapped in the situation they are feeling they are in some kind of jail and no matter how hard they are trying to get out of this jail they are not able to do that it could be possible they are manifesting possibilities to get out of this uh, um, mental jail kind of situation this chaos this conflict and this energy of what should i do next someone is trying to manifest options to come out of the situation and they are in mental jail they cannot uh, like uh, they are feeling they are in some kind of trap where they uh, like no matter how hard they are trying to get out of it they are not able to do it so they are manifesting to get out of this mental jail oh my god let's see what do you feel about this particular personal situation it is nine of wands just give me a second so from your side we have the nine of wands you are like uh, giving up on a situation you are physically very tired you are emotionally mentally very tired you are about to give up on something i'm saying about to give up i think you're not completely losing hope on the situation but at the same time you're like okay i'm kind of done let's clarify the nine of wands we have the 3 of pentacles the 6 of cups and the 5 of swords okay you feel like having a reconciliation collaboration partnership coming back together kind of energy with someone and making things work out but at the same time your ego is kind of stopping you from getting to this uh, like uh, full potential of the situation uh, becoming something fruitful becoming something beautiful you are like okay i feel like i should have reconciliation but at the same time you feel like uh, you should not do anything about it or you cannot do anything about it for some of you your ego is just trying to protect you from being hurt again your conscious mind is telling you this is not possible they are not uh, in the situation anymore and this reconciliation even if it is going to happen it's not going to work out this kind of scenario you are having inside of you and you're kind of physically kind of giving up on the situation energetically you are still in this hope that some day might be it's going to happen hmm. yeah you are still obsessively thinking about this partnership this coming together coming back together you are still uh, very much energetically connected to the situation but on a conscious level you are like nope i'm done i'm do i'm kind of gone let's see what this person wants from you the person that's attached to you what they want from the situation between you and them aries now it's better <laughs> i love my hair i love myself actually let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions 10 of cups their intention is to create a very beautiful family kind of dynamic between you and them or they want to protect their marriage if you guys were already married or if you are having kids i think they are just trying to protect this marriage and they want something uh, long term or committed with you let's clarify and see the clear picture let's clarify the 10 of cups it's a complicated situation both of you are going through your own battles and both of you are not able to understand what actually you guys want from each other yeah and it's heavy it's heavy 
we have the ace of wands the king of pentacles ace of pentacles this is a double confirmation this person wants a connection with you and this uh, this time they want to start with all of the passionate kind of energy all of the motivation they want to create a very beautiful mature grounded kind of stable relationship with you stable future future between you and them this is the ten of cups this is ace of pentacles this is the king of uh, pentacles then we have the ace of wands everything is uh, directing towards this person wanting a brand new chapter opening up with you and then they want marriage or commitment long term partnership they see you in their future they see you in their future they want you in their future and they are ready to have a start from scratch kind of energy this time they want to like uh, create something very stable and very beautiful this is what they want their intention is so pure very pure very beautiful let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation aries we have the three of pentacles so you want you also want this collaboration partnership and you also want to work on this you want equal give and take of energy equal effort and energy from this person side and you are ready to give your efforts and energy too i think let's clarify the three of pentacles we have the page of cups the 10 of pentacles and the death card okay see you want to like you, you want uh, this person to come towards you offer you something apologize or message or communicate properly and open up their heart uh, heart chakra heart energies towards you emotional kind of energies towards you at the same time uh, you don't want anything serious as of now see it is the thing is that it could it could be very much possible that you want to keep this person in your life you definitely want this person back in your life but at the same time you are not seeing this person in your future as like this person is the only person for me or this person should be with me for the long term or something you want message communication apology you want a friendship kind of energy you want collaboration partnership also but right now you don't want anything serious you don't don't want to commit to them you don't want to be in this energy of this is the only person uh that i have in my life that can give me this stability give me this long term partnership kind of energy i think you want to keep your options open aries and you want to see where things can go with other options okay hmm. your conscious mind like your conscious mind is constantly like uh, uh, hinting you that you should just do the right thing you should do the right thing the right thing right now is to just uh, just to get the message communication apology from this person's side uh keep your energies open to this person also let's see where things can go but, but at the same time do not rely just only on this person or only on this energy because might be it's not going to work out the way you wanted to make it work out in the past now you are just trying to protect yourself from being hurt again aries so it's kind of a good thing actually see you want this uh, stable kind of energy this happily ever after kind of energy this beautiful grounded kind of energy at the same time you don't want it right now with this particular energy you are like okay let me keep my options open or let me do something else that's more important than relationship and love but i want to be friends with you this is what you want let's see what's coming towards you till the 25th of september aries we have the devil okay obsessive energies toxic energy something coming out that's going to create some kind of uh, toxic energy around you around the situation let's clarify the devil here let's see either you are trying to control the situation or they are trying to control the situation or both of you let's clarify and see the clear picture of the situation hmm. unhealthy very unhealthy kind of energies we have the two of cups and the king of wands and the hermit okay you guys are going to obsessively think about this particular situation this particular person and you are going to think whether this is infatuation whether this is unhealthy attachment or is this true love is this a soulmate kind of dynamic is this a soulmate kind of energy that i was like wanting from a very long time you will be thinking a lot about the situation obsessively thinking about the situation obsessively thinking about what this situation exactly is 
and you are going to understand that this is a very unhealthy kind of attachment or very very unhealthy kind of obsess obsession kind of energy that you are carrying regarding this situation and you should not operate in any kind of obsession so you are going to question your own feelings question question your own emotions and own things towards this particular situation and you will be keeping yourself silent Aries I don't see you like uh, jumping out of your bed and uh, doing something about it very motivated kind of energy no you will be thinking a lot about the situation that's for sure and you will be obsessively thinking about the situation and you will realize that maybe it's just my obsession towards this uh, another energy it could be the roles can be reversed also maybe mutually you, go, you guys are going to understand that this un, this attachment is very unhealthy this whole dynamic between you and them is very unhealthy you guys no, uh, did uh, should not operate in this kind of unhealthy kind of energy so you just uh, you guys are just keeping yourself uh, away from each other deliberately or not talking to each other or even if you are talking you guys are not talking to each other the way you used to talk something here is going to be uh, something here is going to be like uh, clear for you guys because you are taking space and time from each other yeah you are going to realize it's unhealthy they are going to realize it's unhealthy so you guys are i think you guys are going to work on yourself individually and then you guys will decide that when it's going to be like a healthy when it's going to be like a, both energies are ready to have something beautiful then we can match we can connect else we should just uh, let it go let it uh, pass let's see the guidance for you guys aries in the situation we have the queen of cups the king of wands and the ace of wands the guidance here is that uh, yes i do see love here i do see passion here i do see a uh, uh, an energy of wanting a brand new beginning in the situation but at the same time you guys need to understand is it actually just a passionate kind of energy it is, is it just attraction is it just physical attraction or are you falling in love with the memories that you guys used to have with each other or is this true love you guys need to take a step back here aries it's very important for you guys to understand what actually you feel for the situation what actually is going on in the situation is it a superficial kind of connection uh, that you had in your dreams or you created in your dreams in your head or this is something real okay if this is something real and if this is something that's aligning with your energies and you want to, this to, to have with you for the rest of your life then you should operate accordingly if not this is high time for you to say goodbye to these energies and let it pass because again you might be falling in love with the memories of the situation or you might be having a very solid intense kind of uh, uh, physical connect connection with this person or you guys are uh, just in a toxic kind of uh, uh, addictive kind of uh, codependent kind of relationship and you guys don't understand what uh, what you, you you can do what uh, you should do without each other so codependency or uh, toxic relationship or addictive kind of relationship might be there you guys need to understand the truth and honesty of the situation then only operate then only do whatever you feel like you should do in the situation aries yep clear answers so thank you so much for tuning in aries i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste